Hey guys, Auspicious Ozzy here, and welcome to episode 19 of the Into Miami series. Now, today's episode is going to be the second leg of the CONCACAF Champions League quarterfinal. And of course, we will be taking on Orlando City. We're also going to do a double header, and we're going to take on the Colorado Rapids in an MLS game. Now, the first thing we need to get into is the fixtures. Because the previous episode was the 1-0 victory over Sporting Kansas City and the one all draw in that first leg. Since then, we haven't won, albeit it's only been two games, two MLS games, the first of which was a 2 all draw against Chicago Fire. Uh, as you can see, we're actually behind. Cat's Eye opened the scoring for them. Rua Diaz got us, well, he essentially got us in front with two goals there in the 53rd and 68th minute. And then in the 88th minute, we gave away a penalty and Medran put it in the back of the net. And uh, it was a pretty pretty tough draw to take, to be honest. However, the, the next game was a very different story. Uh, basically what happened was, yeah, we got absolutely destroyed by our former player, Matthias Pellegrini. Two goals for him, 18th and 37th minute, and then Torres got them a third goal. So we were 3-0 down against New York Red Bulls. Got one goal back from Locklear in the 61st minute, uh, but then basically the, the game was thrown away as Piete got a straight red card, getting himself sent off down to 10 men. Absolutely no chance of even trying to salvage a draw from that one. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all the, the fixtures, only the two fixtures to go over. As you can see, we're not doing too well in the Eastern Conference at the moment. It's still very, very, very early. We've only played three games, uh, one win, one loss, and one draw. So, you know, we're, we're in eighth, but obviously we string a few good victories together and we could easily find ourselves at the top of the, the conference. Anyway, let's get in the lo into the lineup for today's game. Uh, obviously, we're going to try and go as full strength as possible. Uh, we're going to go with Strand in goals. Emmanuel comes in at right back. Uh, he did sit out the last game against the New York Red Bulls. So he hasn't been playing too well. But obviously, Ripken played. And we, we conceded three goals. So yeah. Anyway, centre back is going to be Zimmerman and Abubakar. Left back is going to be Gaza. Uh, obviously, Piete is out suspended. So Bezler is going to come in. Um, he can play. Well, he is natural as a defensive midfielder as well. So he's going to come in. He's going to come in. He's actually match fit, which is pretty surprising. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how he does. In front of him is going to be Discarud as the center midfielder, the box-to-box -box midfielder. On the right wing, we're going to go with Mueller. Left wing, going to go with Romano. And then up front, the two strikers are going to be Fernandez and Rua Diaz. The bench day is going to be McDermott. Ogbita does drop to the bench. Um, as you can see, he's been pretty uninspired in the last five games, averaging a 6.7, which is really bad for a centre-back. Uh, he's partnered by Ripkin, Gaspar, Zelalem, Mischic, and Keane. Here we go. We, well, we essentially need to at least score one goal to even have a chance because we did, of course, concede an away goal in that first leg, even though it was a one-all draw. Like I said, we're going to be doing the, the double header here today, taking on Colorado in the next game of this episode. But this one is to put us through to the semi-final. So important, very, very integral. I really want to try and win a trophy this season. Doesn't doesn't matter what it is, you know, the supporter shield, I would love to win. Obviously, the MLS Cup would be ideal. As Rua Diaz scores there. Nice little goal from him, to be honest. His sixth goal of the season. Fernandez, his striker partner getting the assist as well. I mean, it's a bit of a nothing goal, to be honest. Came from nowhere. Mueller to Fernandez, 
And then Rui Diaz running straight in behind between the two center backs. And he, he slotted it away. Really good shot by him. We've also got a booby card picking up a yellow card here. So I'm just going to ease him off as we do have a free kick. Hopefully that doesn't go in yet. All right, so Fernandez, Bill Manuel, a booby car on the right wing somehow. It's in a cross, but it does get cleared away. And now Orlando are really coming forward. Fernandez really did well for, the, for them there. And now they've spread it out to Tinnerholm on this right wing for Orlando. Fernandez gets a shot off. I mean, that was a very, very impressive play by Gerso Fernandez. Only his first goal of the season. And just like that, it's one all. Orlando straight back into it. Only about, what, seven minutes after we scored our goal? Pretty impressive run, you have to say. And uh, a pretty good finish as well. All right, we're in possession. Rui Diaz in behind yet again. And that's a pretty good save by their goalkeeper there. I mean, this game is just so, so integral to our season already. Come on, Mueller. Can't get a cross in and does eventually lose the ball there. And Orlando could possibly be on a counter-attack again. They're in behind. Addy shoots and he scores. Puts it in the back of the net. I mean, they've scored two goals in five minutes. Six minutes. That's really, really bad. I think their goalkeeper is on a very high match rating by the looks of it. No, he's not. Okay. Interesting. I mean, if we are to lose this game and go out of the Champions League in the quarterfinals, I kind of feel like we might have to, to rethink this tactic. Anyway, Romano, can he get a cross in? He cannot. Fernandez, once again, doing really well. And he's, he's quite a good dribbler. And now Addy's in behind yet again, one-on-one. -on -one, and he's put it in the back of the net. We are falling apart. We are literally... I, I might even have to change a tactic for the next, like before the next game. We are getting absolutely torn to shreds by these counter-attacks. And now we've got Mueller picking up a, an injury as well. All right, well, I mean, both of our... A lot of our players are, are playing pretty badly at the moment. Uh, what I'm going to do is going to bring Ripken on for Mueller, and then we'll play Emmanuel as the right winger. I mean, we've conceded three goals from five shots on target. That's pretty bad. I mean, if we can get two more goals, we will go through on away goals. But I mean, I have to say at the moment, that does not look very likely at all. Although Rui Diaz in behind. Can he pass it? Oh, the shot gets blocked. He has such a good opportunity to pass it there. Bit of a nothing corner there. Gaza to Fernandez. All right, we've got one back. Gerard Fernandez. Greg Gaza with the assist, but a nice, nice header by Fernandez. We score one more goal and we don't concede. We go through. We're still in it. We're still in it with a chance. Beautiful header, though, by Fernandez. 
Come on, boys. All right, we're going to make a sub. I'm going to make a sub here. I'm also going to ease Zimmerman off as well. Definitely cannot pick up a red card. I'm going to bring Zellalem on for Discord. Who else? Um, We might actually just keep that last sub. But I always have a bad feeling using the, the third sub. Anyway, Ripkin with a throw in. The very long throw. Lead away. Come on, Ripkin. Pick the ball up, mate. There we go. Get very nervous when players jog for balls. All right, Romano. Beats his man, just. Rua Diaz, one on one. Oh, and that's a, was that, oh, I thought it was a save, but it was a miss, apparently. Damn it. Come on, boys. I'm going to push him forward in a second. Depending on what happens here. Ripkin picks it up, goes back to Strand. Strand with a nice ball to Romano. Acres of space in front of him. Beats his man as well. Come on, penalty ref. <gasps> Fernandez. Oh my god. How has he not scored that? How has he not scored that? Oh no. We're going to lose. He missed an absolute sitter. Oh, that is brutal. That is brutal. I still... I don't know. I... It has to be the tactic at this point, because... I don't... I don't know if we deserve to lose that game. I mean, Addy's a very good player, don't get me wrong. He, he's one of their designated players. Yeah, we've we've lost... We are out of the CONCACAF Champions League. I really wanted to try and go to the final. Or at least versus some Mexican opposition. Alright, what I'm going to do now is... I think I'm going to look for a new tactic. Or possibly tweak this one a little bit. Anyway, I'll join you back for the Colorado Rapids game. And I will go through the tactic and the lineup that we're going to go with. All right, so let's get into the lineup. Uh, as you can see, we are going with a 4-4-2. Uh, a little bit different, though. We now have wingbacks instead of inverted wingbacks. We also have wide midfielders instead of wingers. And instead of box-to-box -box midfielders, we now have supportive Mazalas. And then up front, uh, instead of advanced forwards, we've got a pressing forward and then a poacher as well. So we're going to go with Rua Diaz as the poacher. Pressing forward is going to be Fernandez. Uh, Will Keane's pretty well suited to the poacher role. So if we make that change, um, I'll probably move Rua Diaz to pressing forward. And then Will Keane on as poacher. Anyway, the rest of the team is Locklear on the left wing. Mischich on the right wing. Uh, obviously, got a couple of suspensions. Of course, we've got the injuries to Cisneros. Mueller's picked up the knock in the last game as well. Piete still suspended. Marcial also still out injured. The two centimeters today are going to be Zellalem and Discord. Like I said, playing as Mazalas. The back four is going to be Gaspar as our left back. Abubakar and Zimmerman. They're going to stick together for this game, even though they did concede three goals in the last game. And then finally, Emmanuel is going to stick as our right back. We'll probably bring actually let's bring Ripkin in. You know what? Emmanuel hasn't hasn't been impressing me. He really hasn't. Uh, and then finally in goals gonna go with Strand. Possibly could be taking him out as well. I don't know. It's a bit of a risk playing McDermott, but at the same time, I mean their average rating over the last five games is essentially exactly the same. So yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, McDermott's gonna be on the bench along with Ogbeta, Emmanuel, Gaza, Bezla, Ben Chen. And Will Keane. 
like I said, I mean, it's still another attacking formation. That is obviously an interesting point to make that, you know, the possibility of us constantly using attacking tactics could be really detrimental to the way we're playing. That's just, that's sort of just my playing style. I feel like on Football Manager, having a, a positive attacking tactic is probably more beneficial Definitely more beneficial in regards to, you know, a YouTube series, I would say. Makes it more interesting. Anyway, we do have the ball here. This grid with a nice ball out to Ripkin, who gets a cross in, but can't really find anyone. Uh, we did still have the ball, but that was a bit of a, a wayward pass there by Discarud. We seem to be giving the ball away and then re recapturing it. Anyway, Mizchic cuts inside. That's a really good run, but not a good a good finish on the end of it, unfortunately. I'm looking for a, a much better performance here today. I mean, going out of the quarterfinals. It was... Yeah, it's, it's, oh, what is going on here? What is going on here? I, I don't even know what I just witnessed. That was the weirdest attack... Or counter attack I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure Zimmerman pulled a player down that didn't even have the ball. Anyway, it's going to ease Rua Diaz off as he picks up a yellow card. I mean, Colorado, they're in behind. That's the second time. Luckily for us, Strand coming up with a big save there. He's on a 7.1 already, which is not exactly a very positive sign. All right, let's see if we can actually do anything from this highlight. This screw with a nice ball to Fernandez with a brilliant turn. That's not a great shot at the end of it. He did so well up until that last point, and then it's, it's kind of just an anticlimactic finish, really. Oh, Mischich with a nice tackle there. Fernandez is in behind. Can he score? No, he can't. Rua Diaz gets the rebound. 1-0. I mean, Fernandez probably should have scored himself. Another great opportunity for him to score. Luckily, his strike partner picked up his, you know, seconds. And a much harder shot. And a beautiful goal there by Rua Diaz. And we do have the lead. But almost at this point, you're wondering for how long. I mean, again, another massive save by Strand. I feel like we're sort of being the, the bogey team where our goalkeeper is having a really good game. But you know what? At this point, you know, we haven't won in about four games, so... If my goalkeeper plays a 7.6, I'll be pretty happy with that, to be honest. Anyway, Zimmerman just had a really good header, which was matched by an equally good save by their keeper. Their keeper's actually not doing too badly either. He's on a 7 match. Oh, we've snuck a goal in. Fernandez. That was out of absolutely nowhere. I mean, it was, I thought it was a bad free kick. Like, literally, to the back post, as you can see here. And Fernandez just puts his boot out, more or less stopping it from going out for a goal kick. And it goes straight in the back of the net. And we're 2-0 up on the stroke of half time. Boy, how things have turned around really quickly there. Although, Colorado, they're in behind. Adnan... Another big save by Strand. He's on a 7.4 as we go into half time. And this this is a much better performance. We we really, really needed this after that last game. You might have been able to tell, but I, I was pretty pretty disappointed. Obviously Orlando is our Florida 
Florida rival. And for them to knock us out of the Champions League. It was a hard pill to swallow. Fernandez with another shot there. That he blasts. Straight in the goalkeeper's hands, really. Mischich with a corner. Fernandez almost got on the end of it as well. Alright, I think we'll make a sub here. I want to bring Locklear off, but we don't really have anyone to bring on. Alright, let's 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 do this. Alright, so Locklear is going to come off for Emmanuel. And then we're just going to swap Mischich and Emmanuel around. I think that might be the only change that I actually make. Our bench today is pretty makeshift, for lack of a better term. We don't really have any of the... We don't really have any midfielders. We've got Besla, who can play in midfield. Um, but he's more of a defensive slash centre-back player. Anyway, Rua Diaz in behind, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Oh, that's a good save. Probably should have scored there. I mean, we're dominating at the moment, which is good to see, really good to see. It looks like this tactic is, well, so far, proving to be a bit more successful than the previous one. Although, obviously, it's only early days, the first time we're using it. It's very, a very interesting tactic with the, the wide midfielders. Oh, Fernandez getting his second goal of the game there. Ripken with the assist, but that was a much, much better finish by Fernandez. Nice little uh, chipped through ball. And then Fernandez, like I said, a nice solid finish. Much better than some of the other shots that he's done pretty badly with. And I have to say, 3 0 victory, if it stays 3 0, is looking like a much better result. Oh, Strand with another save, even though it's offside. He's on an 8.7. What an incredible performance. He still hasn't... Yeah, oh, it's offside. Oh, I thought he was about to concede. He's on an 8.7. That is... I, I don't think I've ever seen that. That is ridiculous. Oh, he was almost man of the match. I mean, Fernandez with the two goals. There we go. A 3-0 victory over Col the Colorado Rapids. Oh, he's playing Mazzala. The port. Anyway, there we go. Fernandez, 9.3 match rating. And, uh, I mean, he probably could have had about four goals, really. Some of those opportunities that he had... Probably should have done a little bit better with them. Anyways, that's going to wrap up the episode, guys. You could drop a like on the video, it'd be much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. And apart from that, we're going to turn the season around. It's only early days. Already back up into fourth in the Eastern Conference. I'm, I'm looking to win the Supporter Shield. And we're going to try and push on for the MLS Cup this season. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, take it easy and goodbye.